If you're looking to maximize your productivity, but you have no idea where to start with a project management tool, Trello is about to be your best friend. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you step-by-step -step through the process of creating a system to manage and prioritize your to-do list. What's up, familia? I'm Kim Jimenez, and it's time to get our Trello on. And here's the very first thing I want you to do. Awesome, so you have your Trello account, and now you're gonna create your first board. What you're seeing here is, my my board list. And so I have a ton of different boards. My team and I share a bunch of different ones and we're going to walk through a couple. But the first thing you want to do is click here and create your board. So you're going to name it and title it whatever you'd like, something possibly to the extent of your workflow. I'm going to go ahead and select no team and create board. So what you're going to see here is Trello's greatest strength but also its greatest weakness. And this is where most beginners get stumped with Trello. You see a blank board and you're like, what the heck am I supposed to do here? And though Trello does have some great templates, it's still intimidating to kind of create this from scratch. So my intent here is to walk you through how Trello works and how you can set up an entire system for yourself. Plus, I'm going to actually give you my free download, my a copy of my own Trello workflow board, which is right here. And we will link that below so that you can have a template to start off with and a video that'll walk you through it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create three different lists. And I promise you can customize this later on if this is not something that resonates with you. But for now, we're gonna just get the basic framework. And that is to do, doing, and done, right? Three simple lists. And the idea is that you're moving your tasks from left to right. The things that you need to do will go in this column, right, in this list. The things that you're doing will then get moved to this one. And when you're done with a specific task or project, you can move it to the done list. So for example, let's say that today I want to create a newsletter for my membership, the business lounge. I also need to have a team meeting at three o'clock. And I'm going to create a new Facebook ads campaign. So that's what, let's say, are the three most important things that I need to get done today. As I'm doing them, I could just move them over to the doing list. And when I'm done, I can move them to the done list. So the idea is to every day or every week or every month, depending on how you set up your workflow, you're gonna be moving your cards from the to-do list to the doing list to the done list. So now let's explore what cards are, right? Each one of these tasks represents a specific card and each card is located on a list. So when we open this specific card, let's say that there's additional steps that I would like to outline for this specific task. I can easily just add here in the description, uh, type in a description and I can't type. <laughs> description here, I could add bullet points if I wanted to outline this specific task um, and then kind of go in detail. You could probably just write an entire blog post here. And so that's your description. But then you also have these awesome features. Like for example, if you wanna collaborate with a team member, you could add them to the board and have them added to the specific task. That way you guys can collaborate back and forth. You can also have labels added to your tasks. And one of the labels that are really helpful for me if we see this workflow example here is looking at, is this specific task worthy of my time or can I delegate it to someone else, right? So you'll see here the uh, number symbol when there's a four figure task that I know is a profit generating task, that's a task that I need to get done. Whereas a single, uh, single figure task that is something I should be delegating to someone on my team. And so those are a great example of how you can utilize labels for individual tasks. As you can see here, you can also label them based on a category, right? So everything that's related to the business lounge has this label. Everything related to content has this label. And so you can really just organize labels and create them as you please. So for example, let's say that the green label is content right? And that's what we're going to set this one at. But you could also have a specific business or a specific brand. In our case, this is for the business lounge membership, which is our community. And we can label that 
this way. You could also just create labels for just a, really the, your imagination is um, the ceiling here. So it's so many different things. Now moving on to checklist, another great feature is maybe this task involves multiple steps. So I want to create a checklist that I could copy to another task like let's say this for example every single week we're creating a newsletter for the business lounge so if this is a task that repeats itself i can go ahead and create a checklist that also repeats itself so that i don't have to remember the workflow every single time so let's say that this is my to-do checklist for newsletters and i'm going to go in here and say okay so the first thing i'm going to do with this newsletter is check on our content calendar then from there i'm going to create a draft, then I'm going to import it into ConvertKit, which is our email marketing tool. And then I'm gonna go in here, proofread it, run through Grammarly, send to Pearl on my team to review, schedule and send, right? So that's a, a pretty intense <laughs> workflow that I should not have to remember every single time that I'm in here creating new tasks. So I can easily just copy this over and as I'm completing each step, I can see the progress bar move and voila, we're done. Really simple and a great feature to leverage consistently. Now you can also go in here and add due dates. Let's say that we have a deadline for this specific task. So we can add it there and then you'll get a notification once that task is coming up or, you know, the due date is coming up. Once you complete it, you can also mark it as complete and Trello will also show you in this card summary, A, eh? it'll show you what the progress on this task is as well as when it has been completed or the due date. You can also attach files. So let's say that you need to attach a copy of your draft. You can go in your computer and upload something like a PDF or an image. You can also go in and add something from Google Drive like a document. So you can go in here, Google Drive, and do that. You could do the same thing for Dropbox. You could do it for Box if you use Box. Um, and then it's just so many other things that you could do as you continue kind of um, adding files here. So like I can complete add an entire folder inside of Google Drive, which is really cool. Or I can add a specific file to this card, making it super easy to find and locate, especially if you're collaborating with team members. So I can select that and add it here. Now, one of the things that I really also like is that you can add website links. So let's say that you guys are collaborating on ideas or projects. You can literally go in here, attach any link. So let's say that I'm going to attach my website and you can name the link website example attach and really that's just going to show up here on the card for easy access which is so in handy especially when you're working on a task over a period of time let's say over a week or a couple months having easy access to links and documents and resources and attachments all in one place as well as a workflow is really helpful now, moving on to uh, power-ups, there's so much you could do with power-ups. So Trello has an entire suite of additional tools that integrate with it. And there is really so much to talk about just in this specific section. We'll probably create a future video just on power-ups. So if that's something that you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section below. Do you want to see a tutorial on power-ups or is there a different feature that you would like to learn about or uh, see when it comes to Trello? Now, as we continue down here, we can move this card to a different list. We can copy it over. We can mark it as a template. We can watch it, which basically means if you watch a card, you can see all the communication that's happening over on the comment section, which brings me to the comment section. And here is where you can collaborate with friends or with clients or with team members. And once someone is added to that board, you can actually tag them. Now, no one's added to this demo board because it's totally new, but let's say that I go in here into one of the cards here for the business lounge. I have my creative director, Pearl, here, and I can tag her and I can literally ask her anything about this card um, and let her know what the, you know, status update of this project is or if I need something uh, just write it down here I can also attach documents or add another Trello card to this uh, conversation and make it really easy straightforward and simple 
So I hope that you're starting to see how Trello can really help you streamline your workflow, create a simple system for tracking exactly what you have to get done throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, etc. and do it in a way that's totally free and super, super, super dialed in. Now you can add on to this board, as you can see, with our workflow board, one of the things that we encourage our students to do is to set goals for the week, set intentions, create a plan, a map for what you're going to get done, and really look at it from the perspective of let's be more strategic with the work that we're doing instead of just being busy. Let's actually be strategic with the way that we pursue tasks. So every single week you should set up specific goals for that week. And sometimes those goals um, need to be clearly outlined in a separate board. And other times you can just outline them in your own Trello board if you have a workflow board like this one. So these are the things that need to get done this week, for example. And then these are the things that need to get done today. So every single day when you wake up um, and you get yourself ready for the day and you start your work routine or your work ritual, one of the first things you're going to want to do is plan your day and really look at, okay, so this is what I need to do this week. And these are the three things that I'm going to get done today. So let's assume that this is a Monday and you have set up your tasks for the week. The first thing you're going to do is, okay, it's Monday. I know I'm going to move everything over here that I need to get done today. These are the top three things, rain or shine, that I'm committing to get done. And so there might be some tests in progress. You have a full list of things that are done, et cetera. And you can continue to add on to your Trello workflow board as you get your process dialed in. So for example, I find having ongoing projects in this uh, list here pretty handy, but you might get to a point where as a company, maybe you have multiple team members and you actually want to create boards for these specific projects or just a whole individual board for ongoing projects themselves like we do here at the company. And so you could also have a list of things that you want to work on kind of in your project idea shelf or things that are coming up next, but you don't necessarily want to clog your goals for the week, right? Those are things that you got to get done. There's tasks to outsource, things that you want to outsource to another team member or to uh, a company that might just get something done simple, simply like via Fiverr, for example. Things that maybe are not urgent, client to-dos, future projects, ideas, resources, notes, wins, sales copy and testimonials. That used to be something that was really helpful for me to have on my workflow board and so on and so forth. The key thing here is being really clear about how you can build on a simple workflow to start simple, right? Like I'm showing you here and grow as you go. It's about leveraging the tool to serve you instead of getting overwhelmed and feeling like you can never learn how to use a project management tool because I know that you can. I've taught thousands and thousands of students how to do it. And I'm really excited for you to get started up. I'm going to show you how to create a project management board just like this one. So this is our big fat projects board. This is where our team collaborates. But even if you don't have a team, this is one of the essential boards every entrepreneur, business owner, executive should have. This is literally a working list of every single project in our company, how we manage it, how we collaborate, how we structure it. And that is going to be in the next video. So definitely check out the video that's here on the screen so that you can jump into that one and get your project management workflow going. Excited about that? And of course, let me know in the comment section below, what would you love to learn next? That's the question of the day and I can't wait to hear from you. So here's the deal. Now that you know how to set up your first basic Trello board to manage your to-dos and set up your own workflow, it's time to understand how to leverage it for project management because here's the deal. Trello is so incredibly powerful and there's so much more that you could do with it. But to find out how to do that, you gotta watch the next video. It's gonna show up here on the screen. So go ahead and do that. And don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, consider subscribing if you love productivity, business, and marketing tips just like this one. I'll see you on that next episode. Click, click, click the screen. Yeah, right now, here. <laughs>